Hey guys, welcome to Reading the Tape 101, the introduction to Reading the Tape by Bid Hitter Holding. You can visit our website at bidhitter.com. My name is Jose, I'm also known as Stop Hunter on the website and our virtual prop test. And I'm here to take you through this instructional guide on the basic foundation and basic principles of Reading the Tape. Before we get started, check out our disclaimer. Pretty much saying we are, this is for purely educational purposes. We're not an advisory service. We do not tell you what you should buy or sell. But we're here just to educate you on what I see on the tape and you know the basic principles of the tape. So take a minute to read that. We're not liable for your trades. You put on your trades at your own discretion. And last but not least, this is for purely educational purposes. Let's get started. Introduction to reading the tape. Throughout this guide, I'll be giving you certain indicators, basic background of the tape, and you know what the tape is exactly. After that, I'll be giving you certain trade setups with video on what you see on the tape and what certain things mean. Before we get started, I'll give you a little background about me. I've been actively day trading the market since 2007. I've traded for multiple prop desks here in Miami and New York. I, right now I trade my own account. I have no boss. I trade whenever I want, which is every day because you know I enjoy what I like to do. But back you know, to my background. I was the head of training for new traders for this Miami desk. I became the head trader and I took that position within three months of starting there. Mostly because of my, worth it, my work ethic, my knowledge, and my discipline. Also, you know, I've been trading since 2007. I trade multiple strategies, multiple markets. And for my personality and for my trading style, day trading equities is where I, you know, where I feel that I will excel the best. With t reading the tape, it also gives me an edge over chart traders. And, you know, I don't hold overnight, strictly intraday, which is what the tape shows you. And, you know, I've been profitable since 2008. Again, you don't become profitable right off the bat. You, you know, there is a learning curve, but you know, every market I've traded from the financial crisis to the rebound to the flash crash, and I've survived. I'm still here trading today. And also with that, I've adapted to each market. Each market, you know, one trade, you know, one trading style isn't going to last forever. But with the new tape, you're able to see certain setups, and you know, adapt to the environment. Right now, there, you know, there's some trade setups that I took on 2008 have it be momentum that don't work today but I've adapted because that's, as a trader that's what you're supposed to do so back to the tape what you should expect from this DVD is to learn the basic foundation of tape reading to learn the basic foundation you'll see the very very basic and simple you know principles of tape reading and with that and more time more screen time more tape reading time you get to see during the day and after hours you'll consistently become better as a tape reader. I'm the best tape reader I've ever been since I started trading. And I know in a year from now, it'd be even better then. So it's going to, you know, consistently you'll, you'll become better at tape reading. You should not expect to become an expert instantly, primarily because it takes a while to develop, you know, certain trade setups, certain things you'll see on the tape. This guide specifically gives you just a pure basic foundation and once you master that once you see that and once you watch this DVD you get you know you'll understand the basic foundation of the tape and from that you'll be able to expand you know your your library of trading plays and your library of you know tapering technique techniques that you'll see there is a learning curve do not expect to instantly become an expert off reading the tape off you know watching this DVD it does take practice and do not get frustrated you know Right off the bat, you might not understand what I'm explaining in certain videos. You know, so hit rewind, watch again until you do get it. It will take time. It's, you know, it's very simple, but it is something that takes time for you to master, and something you know that takes time for you to completely and fully understand. You will get better every day, like I mentioned earlier, for me to tape. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm the best tape reader I've ever been, and I know I'll consistently improve because every day I watch tape have it be during the market hours when I am trading or after hours or using our you know our tape reading plays database that we have available on the website and you know 
you'll become better every day. So you don't get discouraged if you don't become an expert instantly. It is something that takes a while for you to you know, see certain trading plays, for you to develop that playbook. And after watching this DVD, you should have a grasp understanding of what reading the tape is, what certain you know basics and principles of tapering are, and you should be able to spot certain trades or certain indicators that you know tape reading shows you. What to do after watching this DVD? You should read the book that came along with it. It is the pure text guide of this DVD. After you complete that, you take your notes, rewatch this DVD, specifically the tape reading portion of the actual tape reading videos of the level two, the prints of you know this DVD. After that, go onto our website and check out our tape reading video archive. From there, we have you know examples of what we've gone over here, a whole database of examples that we have gone over here, certain trading plays that you'll see on reading tape, and or if you do not want to do that, if you're a trader and you want to trade during the day, watch the live market, watch certain stocks you're watching during the day, and watch the tape, and see certain trade steps that you'll be seeing and learning in this DVD. Introduction. So to start off this introduction, we're going to go over this Netflix trade. Netflix, as you can see here, was consolidating nicely, right? On a chart setup, you know, see some resistance here, see a little support there. But what you do not see on the chart is that there's a buyer here at the 6650, right? On the tape throughout, you know, this setup, it was a nice setup, it consolidated near the higher part of the range. And, you know, say if you're purely a, a you know, a chart trader, what about here in this little area when you saw it consolidating with a stop below there? Again, your risk would you know be a lot wider if you weren't reading the tape. But with the tape, what we did see is that 6550 had a buyer and they're accumulating all throughout this afternoon. And what we did see here is that yeah, they did drop, they wicked down, but they quickly rebitted at the 650. And then from there, there was a large buy program in Netflix that went up, you know, hit the buy order, that went up all the way till near the high, and the order finally got filled, and that was, you know, your point of exit. So, with reading the tape, granted, would have gotten stopped out here. You don't win every single time, but once you saw, you know, it hold, held the bid again at the 6650 level, you could have re-entered with very minimal risk, 10 cents, including slippage gone back in and rode it all the way up to about 68.50. I believe when I was reading the tape on that, the buyer did get his order filled around 66.40 and then dropped. That's where I exited. I was long here. I, my exit was when the bid you know, dropped again or if the offer held below 66.50. And you know, I rolled, you know, I traded all the way up for almost two points and very minimal risk. Again, if you're a chart trader, probably would have gone long there, gotten stopped below there to there. And you probably wouldn't have re-entered. Or another chart trader, you know, would have bought this resistance level above 67. Don't you don't have a clearly defined risk level? Maybe below this bar, below this bar, below this bar. Again, your risk reward is not skewed in your favor on that trade if you're purely chart trading, or you know the reward that was given. Had to be reading the tape. The risk reward was phenomenal on this trade. I took it myself. Chart, not so much. Netflix again. Netflix and this chart here, you know, it was down trending for most of the day after a nice little run in the morning. But when I was watching the tape on this, I noticed that 5505 had a seller. And you no, know, I was shorting in front of that level. Now exit if the offer lifted. That was what we call a held offer, and we'll be going over that in detail later. But for the basic introduction purpose, you see that there's a nice little resistance level. It wouldn't get above there. Chart traders, again, probably would have gone short here, stop above this level. Risk to reward, not so good. But during the tape, you saw this 155.05 selling. And I did get short in front of there, and you do see this little support level here where I you know, covered my risk. As a trader, you like to, to manage your risk. That's what your job really is, is not to make money. It's to cover your risk while looking for potential setups to capitalize on. So back to the trade setup. On the tape, 155.05 was selling, went down, and back 155.05 was selling, was selling, was selling. 
finally decided to go back up here. And on the tape, what I saw was that 155.05 dropped down to 155. So you dropped down a whole five cents. To me, that was interesting because the seller was stepping lower. So what did I do? I added another position with the stop. If it lifts at 155, I'm getting out. Very, very low risk. What happened? That 155 lifted. I automatically covered. 155.05 was blown through. And, you know, this bar shows that there might have been, you know, might have been some liquidity up here. Me trading it, there wasn't liquidity until 155 half. So, you know, risk reward. I covered there, 155.05, 155.03s, I believe I got. And, you know, it was very low risk. And I was able to see that and capitalize that due to the tape. Again, if you're purely chart trading, you would have gone short here, 155 ish. Stop up here, maybe 156, 155, 75. And you, know, you wouldn't have been able to capitalize on that trade per your risk reward as good as you did. Overall, I ended up making money on the trade because, I, like I mentioned earlier, I like to cover my risk very quickly. You know, 50 cents here, 50 cents there. And, you know, the damage was very, very small once it did lift. And I was able to spot that because of the tape. Once that 155.05 stepped down to 155, I had a new stop, for example. I moved my stop from if that 155.05 lifted to if that 155 lifted. And because I was able to spot that, I was able to get out right there when it did lift and didn't have to be, you know, stuck short once it lifted. Because, like I sh said before, there's no liquidity until at least 155, 155 half, 156. So, again, that's another reason why reading the tape is so important. So I consistently use it. I rely on it a lot, along with the overall chart, the overall market, and overall market psychology. So what is reading the tape? I keep talking about introduction to tape. Now let's actually go into what reading the tape is. The art of tape reading is not something that you know you see and that you can you know create a program. It's just the art of studying pure price action in real time based on the level two box and the prints is important because it's just pure numbers and colors and you're analyzing that data to see what the buyers and sellers are doing. Be able to gauge the imbalance in supply and demand. You're also able to gauge psychology of what's going on in the stock, certain patterns. Reading the tape is a leading indicator. It's not like charts, RSI, MACD that relies on past data. It is happening real time because you're seeing the orders go through and you're able to see the open orders and see what you know where people are willing to buy, willing to sell at, and also where orders and excuses have gone through. Be able to see real time where buying and selling is happening at a level is very important because once you see that information, you're you know able to capitalize on it. you're able to put on a trade. It's an indicator for you. It's an indicator along with the charts that will improve your trading. Improves efficiency, your risk reward improves dramatically. Prime example is that previous chart of Netflix and you're able to catch more moves. Again, the previous chart of Netflix goes over that in detail. So you're able to improve your efficiency because you're able to see exactly where the buyers and sellers are showing up and you're able to get on those prices. For example, in a chart, you see it get above a resistance level, you just buy your risk reward, maybe you set it below the previous low, but with reading a tape, you're able to spot, you know, buyers actually step up to that price. And if, you know, there's a held bid there, at a resistance level, and it lifts, you can buy there and set your stop below the held bid. That alone increases your risk reward tenfold. I'm able to you know, put on trades where my risk is 10 to 1 sometimes. And with the 10 to 1 risk reward, I don't have to be right much. But with reading a tape, you also are, you know, you improve your, your win rate. Able, you know, you're able to spot these buyers and sellers in real time and execute you know, with them. Go with the flow, the money flow. It helps you lower your risk, like I mentioned before. You're able to get in where the buyers are and the sellers. Trade with them. It helps you lower your risk because you don't have to rely on a chart to, you know, buy at a certain level and set, you know, stop below the lowest, the recent, you know, higher low or, or lower high, whatever the case is, the recent level. You're able to spot 
you know, certain trade setups and certain <clears throat> and certain you know, levels where you can play off and where you can, you know, play off them where your risk is very tight and your reward is, you know, very large. Read the tape is a tool of veterans. It's been around forever. Charts, you know, just recently started, you know, becoming very popular and, you know, due to the increase in technology and advances in technology, everyone's supposed to, you know, is allowed to have charts on. But before, for example, in the beginning of the dot-com boom in the 90s, charts weren't as, you know, technolo technologically as advanced as they are now. So traders are purely using the tape to make trades. Here's an edge over chart traders, like I mentioned before. Chart traders, they, you know, they play just the setups they see on the chart based on the past data. With reading a tape, you're able to spot certain chart patterns, and you're able to spot what's really going on with that pattern, have it be the supply demand, if it's weak, if it's strong. So for example, if you see a bull flag and you see, you know, on the tape you sense that it's weak, it's not a very you know, high probability setup for you to get long that bull flag just because the tape is showing you that it's weak. But say there is a bull flag and the tape is strong, you see a held bid, you're able to get on there, get in that long, tight stop below the held bid, tight stop, you know, go with the order flow, go with the money flow. And that is just a huge edge in its own because you're able to see what's happening. You're able to see the actual chart pattern develop on the tape while it's developing on the chart, and you're able to sense and feel if it is strong or weak. Reading the tape brings consistency to your trading, like I mentioned before. You're able to spot real levels. You're able to gauge psychology. You're able to gauge, you know, proper levels and, you know, go with the order flow. Go with, you know, the buyers or the sellers. And it brings consistency to your trading because you're able to, you know, have better risk reward trades. And, you know, there are higher probability setups when the overall market's in your favor, when the chart's in your favor, and the tape is in your favor. The tape shows available plays that the charts don't. For example, the trading open. First 30 minutes of the day, charts haven't developed yet. But, you know, but with the tape, you're able to spot what is happening on the tape in real time. With the charts, you gotta wait till about 10 o'clock to get some candles, maybe see a setup, until you can actually really properly execute on a trade. But like I said, with reading the tape, you're able to spot right off the open what's happening. So there's, for the first 30 minutes, the highest amount of volume during the trading day, you're able to spot what's happening with the order flow in a certain stock and go with the order flow. And you don't have to wait for the charts to develop. With reading the tape, you're able to determine where stock's going to go. I say this because if you see an order, a buy order, bids continue to step up, you can determine that it's most likely going to continue to go up. And it's a very, very, very important type of setup off the open because if there's no charge, you can't really see what's happening. You gotta wait till the charts develop. But with reading the tape, you're seeing what's happening in real time where there's orders and you can determine where it's going with the high probability of success. What reading the tape is not. There's no buy or sell signals, something you learn overnight. And, you know, reading the tape, like I mentioned before, is an art. It's not something that once you see this, oh, you buy. Oh, it's not when you see this or you sell. It's not something that's clean cut. It's something you learn over time as the markets change. And you're able to, you know, get a better feel of what's happening in that certain stock with the charts and everything else. This isn't something that will make you instantly profitable. Like I said, it'll improve your consistency, your trading plays. But, you know, it takes practice with your overall trading system. That'd be when you're trading intraday. You know, it, uh, when you do put on a trading play, it's, you, know, you want multiple things in your favor. Tape reading is an indicator to, in, you know, to increase your probability of success and you know, to, to combine with the other techniques you use, the charts, overall market, psychology, to put on trading plays. It's not a system, it's an indicator. So it, it, that's the best way to describe it. How does the tape give you an edge? As I mentioned, it's a real-time indicator, not based on past data. You know, you're able to see real time where the buyers are, where the sellers are, where the tra transactions are taking place, where the bids are, where the sellers are. 
and you're able to see everything in real time as it's happening. You're not waiting for a chart to develop, you're not waiting for that MACD to turn around or any of that. You get an edge because you're reading the real time order flow. It is important because you want to go with the flow. You want to go with the larger, you know, the larger hedge funds, the institutions, the mutual funds, because they are the ones that dictate where potential stocks are going to go. So with that, you know, you're reading the order flow in real time, you're able to follow them. You don't have to wait for chart pen to set up, and you're able to spot trades that you know you weren't going to spot on the chart. With your tape, you know, it'll give you, say you do see a chart pattern, it'll give you it's it's the microscope to where your entries are and where your risk should be. Lowers your risk by that because, you know, say you see a support level and you see, you know, a held bid there, it's a high probability that it'll bounce. And you can get in front of the held bid and get out below. You don't have to, you know, buy when that chart when the chart develops to the support level and then, you know, set it down fifty cents for the recent low was. You know, it's an art that was way you know, around before charts were. You know, you're able to see, like I said, in real time what's happening, what's happening with the order flow. It'll gain, you know, you'll be able to gain an edge over algorithms in HFTs because you'll be able to see what they're doing. You know, you'll be able to see what the type of pattern they're trying to do. In the charts, you don't see the algorithms. You see them after the fact, maybe if you zoom on, on a lower time frame. But with the edge, you're able to see that in real time and you're able to capitalize on it. What is on the tape that's not on the charts? You're able to see active buyers and sellers and what they're doing in real time. With this, you know, like I mentioned before, specifically off the open, you're able to, you know, see where the order flow is going. Also, you're able, you know, able to notice important levels where big battles happen. For example, in a five minute bar, if the whole, say there's a five minute bar from fifty nine fifty to sixty fifty, yet six, you know, 60, the whole number, was doing a lot of volume. There's a huge battle there between sellers and you know, buyers, and the buyers won. You're, able, you're not able to see it on the chart. You're only able to see it on the tape. You can follow buyers, sellers, and there are certain patterns. This goes to the order flow of stocks. Have be buyers, you know, a certain pattern where they step up on the bid every five cents, every 20 cents, you know, where there's a big order on the bid, and he really, you know, wants to buy that equity, so they step up until they do get filled. And you're able to see all that in real time on the tape, but you're not able to see that on the chart. You're able to get a feel for the market because, like I mentioned before, it's all happening in real time. You get a gauge for the buyers and sellers and balances and supply and demand. And you know you see what's happening in real time, so you, you're able to get a feel for it. Charts are based on past data. already went over that. The tape is real time. Tape reading is an art, not a science. I say this because, like I mentioned, it's not something you just read a book and instantly become an expert. It's something you learn over log, long observation, personal experience. You know, the more tape you watch, the better a feel you'll get for it after you learn the very basics, which are very simple. But it does take time after you know you watch this DVD and understand everything we go over you're able to go watch the live market and be able to spot those setups and you know, in a month from that time you'll be able to see certain setups you didn't see before two months from then you'll be able to see other setups but just understand the basics will give you a huge edge and it's the, the, you know, the pure foundation because you'll, you'll know what's happening on the bid on the offer and you know, you'll, you'll know what's happening on the prints to later develop and be able to spot those other trade setups that are happening You'll get better over time. The more tape you watch, the better you'll be. Ten years from now, you'll be a way better taper you are. Five years from now, twenty years will be better than, than ten years. Tape reading affects efficiency with entries and exits. You're able to, you're able to find great entries with low risk that aren't shown on the charts. For example, which we'll be going over later, held bids and held offers. Those certain trade setups you aren't able to see on a five minute bar. It, sometimes it happens you know, in the middle of the bar, at the end of the bar. But you're not able to see those. But with reading the tape, you're able to see those and you know, trade with those. Also, get in front of real buyers and sellers. This is important because you know, you're able to go with the money flow. 
you're able to see them in real time, and you're able to capitalize on that. Spot reasons for exits that are not on the charts. Prime example, so here's an order. So here's a huge, huge bid for a million shares. And they continue to step up every 20 cents. You want to get in front of that and you know continue it until that order's not there anymore. That's not something you'll see on the chart. You'll see after the fact, when you see that huge volume bar on the whole way, you know, say it's a buyer on the whole way up when the volume's there and then it just drops after a while. After the order's executed. But during the tape, you're able to spot those in real time and actually execute on them while keeping your risk very low and you know your entries on point with your low risk. Tapering effects efficiency to entries and exits is an example. This is a chart of GMCR. It was gapping up over the weekend. And this is a trading play where they're accumulating at 3350. It's very important because you clearly saw that accumulation on the tape, but you didn't see it on the chart till after the fact. And you know, with this with this certain trade setup, you're able to spot that and your risk is very minimal, five, ten cents. Yet, you know, you saw it happening in real time. But if you're on the chart, you didn't you know, you had to wait till after it developed. Again, it was clearly right off the open. And you know, you you would have to wait for a certain chart pattern to set up. For example, over here. But with reading the tape, you know, you're able to see that in real time at thirty three fifty and you know, they get out once the buyer is gone. But with the tape, got in around thirty three fifty and it went up to thirty five fifty five, thirty five thirty five fifty. Again, during with the charts, your risk was way larger and you weren't able to spot this until after the fact. Again, in the tape is real time, you're able to spot these setups in real time. How does tape bring lower your risk? You're able to spot buyers and sellers, get in front of them, they leave you leave you're in a position because there's a buyer there you step in front of the buyer at either at the same price or a penny in front of them and they leave just get out get out you'll lose a couple pennies or you know whatever your trading play is this helps you lower your risk because you're able to follow the big money you're not trading against the big money for example say there's a certain trade setup and the overall chart looks bearish but the big money is just continuing to buy. You want to follow the larger money. And you know, you get out when the big money stops. If there's a buy order or sell order, you follow them until that order is complete and you're able to spot that on the tape. You can't see on charts. For example, charts you have to wait for a certain pattern to be executed and then your stop is way far away from that entry point usually. And you know, with the tape, you're able to get in front with the buyers or sellers. It's not, you know, it's not getting at random prices like charts. It's like, oh, it broke this trend line, I'm gonna enter. No, it's real levels where clear volume is being done, where there's buyers and sellers, and you're able to join them at the exact same prices, not at random prices where a trend line broke. ASTM example. This is a pretty good example because. You know, the stock traded lower, 33.6, and there's a huge sell order from here, top to here, bounced up. Again, the sell order started stepping down, stepping down, stepping down. And what happened here? The sell order got filled. What does that tell me? That tells me there's more demand in the market because that, sell, that large sell order, you know, that large, you know, large offer was filled. And once that was filled, I decided to get a you know pretty long setup right here around this 3.3, 3.30, stop below this little level, 10 cents of risk, and you know I traded all the way up until I broke the trend line. 10 cents of risk for about you know 50 cents of gain, five to one. Again on the chart, you probably have to wait till this little bullish flag or broke this resistance, whatever the case is. You wouldn't have seen it on the chart only on the tape when the large sell order was finally filled. How does Scott really tape improve and understand chart patterns? It's important because able to see, you're able to see the supply and demand dynamic in real time. You're able to add it all together to see if this chart pattern is going to, you know, if it's strong or weak, and you're able to go with the chart pattern along with the tape. You add it together, you gain an edge. Remember, it's an indicator. 
get all your indicators, and the more indicators in your favor, the higher probability of trade of going in your favor. You know, prime example is that GMCR trade. There was a support level, there was a buyer accumulation. You you know add them together, and it's high probability trade setup. You will see what buyers and sellers are doing at certain ch chart levels. For example, support levels. If the stock drops and buyers you know appear, then it's a chance it's a, a good solid support level. But you know, say the stock does drop down to a support level, and sellers start appearing and start you know selling a lot in front of the support level, there's a chance that the support level is going to break. And this helps you understand chart patterns because you're able to you know add them together and be able to gauge the, you know supply and demand in the market. You'll see how chart patterns develop on the tape. Spot if it's strong or weak. I mentioned before, prime example is that support trade. So you know, with reading the tape, you add it with your chart patterns, you gain a larger edge. But with reading the tape, you're able you know, to gauge the supply and demand in real time. How do you improve your tapering skills? Again, it's something that takes time. It's not something you learn overnight. It's not something you read in a book. You'll get better every day that you watch tape. Have it be a video of your trading. Have it be live market. Have it be using our video archive where you're able to see certain trade setups and it takes time as long as you're determined to improve and become the best then you will become the best it's easier to spot if that's on the tape when you're not in trade because you don't have a bias sometimes you're biased in your position and at the market when you're watching trade and tape and you know there's no money in the line so you're able to see it without a bias speed up the improvement by watching your record video tape after the close and our video archive. Like I mentioned, continue to watch the tape and every day will be, get better. The more tape you watch, the better taper you'll become. More screen time. Same thing works for, you know, basketball players, football players that watch a lot of video. Trading the open, the only video tape. Chart time fully developed in the first few minutes of the open, like I mentioned before. And, you know, you're able to spot orders right off the open when most institutions want to put on orders, it's the most volume. And, you know, your edge is the tape. You're able to see the supply and demand in real time. You're able to gauge what's happening. And, you know, charts patterns haven't developed yet. Most intraday traders mo make most of their money on the open and the close, because that's when there's the most volume. Most volume is specifically on the open. And with reading the tape on the open, you're able to spot levels on the chart that you know that the charts don't show. So, like I mentioned, first 30 minutes, there's no chart that has developed, so your edge is a tape. You can spot buyer sell orders from institutions on the open. Again, a lot of institutions put their orders right off the open because that's the most volume, the most liquidity, and you're able to spot their three and taper off the open and to follow them. Real time order flow. And you know you, you gauge real-time order flow, and you're able to spot it and go with the flow, and you know make money off of that. Predicting or chart will go. Finding key levels that a lot of volume has been done off, and you know with that you're able to trade off those levels. And you know, say for example, there's a, a certain level that's done a lot of volume, and there's buyers there, then there's a high probability chance that you know it's going to go higher. Same thing goes with sellers. There's a important levels, a lot of volume being done on that level. Then, you know, and sellers show up, then the chances of it going lower are high. Remember, we just want to take high probability trade setups as traders. See how price reacts at certain levels. How to be a support level, resistance level, a chart pattern level. You're able to see what happens on the tape. See if it gets rejected instantly. See what happens at that level. See if it holds tight to that level. And you're able to gauge what's going to happen and where the stock's going to go based on the reaction. You're able to hold for larger moves while keeping your risk low. This is important because, you know, chart patterns, say you're right in uptrend, you got to wait till the trend line breaks. Gives you a large gap for that, you know, to that line break sometimes. And, you know, with the tape, say there's a buy order in that uptrend, there's a certain pattern, then you get out when that buy order stops. And, you know, you're able to spawn order and go with it. Remember, like I said, go with the flow.
you're going with the big money and you're following them because you know the trend is your friend you want to go with the large money flow and continually stick with them close from tape reading greats Jesse Livermore battle goes on in the stock market and the tape is your telescope you can do you depend on it on 7 out of 10 cases he means that 7 out of 10 times 70 chance 70 percent chance that with the tape alone you know the trade or whatever the stock's doing will continue doing that or whatever the tape is telling you it will do that 7 out of 10 times again high probability trades are what we want to take